The news line, Friday, May the 29th, 2015. This morning. Workers rise up. Stop the closure of Ealing Maternity. On May the 7th, Labour won the Ealing Central and Acton seat from the Tories, with Rupert Huck getting 22,002 votes, a massive 13% increase in the Labour vote. Huck got her seat because of the desire and the determination of workers locally to defend Ealing Hospital and especially to keep its much needed and valued maternity unit open. Now, with the election out of the way, the Cameron government is set to try to trample over workers in Ealing and close the maternity unit on July 1st, 2015, regardless of the requirements and needs of the local population. This attempt at closure must be stopped, and Labour MPs in the Ealing and West London area who won or retained their seats thanks to the determination of workers to defend the NHS have an absolute duty to take every action that is necessary to keep Ealing Hospital's maternity unit open and, open and, func- and fully functioning. The local trade unions must also step into the breach and come into the fight. In fact, there must be strike actions by local trade unions to demand and insist the hospital be kept fully open. As well, a council of action must be organised by the trade unions, MPs, workers and youth to mobilise the masses to keep the maternity unit open with a permanent occupation. In fact, the entire West London area is a battleground with the government and its agencies who are cutting and closing hospital units and whole hospitals to balance the books of bankrupt British capitalism, sacrificing the health care of millions. Under the cynically named Shaping a Healthier Future plan, Hammersmith and Central Middlesex A&Es were closed on September the 10th, 2014. Charing Cross Hospital is now being terminated as a major acute hospital and is to be a local hospital dealing with day surgery and outpatients only. Major emergency services, including a stroke unit and acute surgery, have been finished with. 